This is the Z Topo indoor TV antenna. Inside the box you get a packet containing the main antenna, amplifier, associated cables and comprehensive instructions in English. The antenna itself is actually already attached via a good length cable. Inside the instructions it shows two methods of actually powering the unit and the necessary connections to the TV. The antenna is lightweight and has self adhesive pads on the back. It has quite a long cable and is already attached to the amplifier and connecting cables for power and aerial output to the TV. The antenna itself is made of a vinyl flexible lightweight material. You get an additional connector to convert the aerial connection from a satellite type connector to a standard area UHF aerial connector. Here we can see the aerial attached to the window of uh, one of our bedrooms. It's just a temporary setup to s test really how good the signal is from this amplifier. I've used a USB connection for the power on this occasion. As I said the power on this test is from a standard phone power supply. The window on which it's attached is not a particular window facing the direction of the TV transmitter so it will be quite interesting to see how good the reception is. There is no setting up in terms of adjustments or anything other than to initially tune in the TV and straight away without any further tuning on this TV the picture is excellent. It has the full range of channels that we would normally expect in the UK. and they're all rock solid so first impressions are very good
here we can see the aerial connection to the TV. I've used the adapter to convert from the satellite type connection to a standard UHF antenna connection. You can see the uh, LED power light on the amplifier and again the TV picture quality is excellent. As I said this is not a particular uh, window pointing in the direction of the antenna or other aerials mounted on people's other houses roofs etc. Just to demonstrate that the signal quality is as said when I unplug the power supply there we are no signal whatsoever even though the connection through the antenna to the aerial stuck on the window is still there. Plug the amplifier back in and there we have the high quality signal back again. Very good. The user manual as uh, said previously is uh, comprehensive and in English. It shows two methods of connection for the power. The one that I used was shown at the top where you power the make, take the USB power from another power source. Another way of doing it on the t on a TV that's got a USB connection, you can plug the USB connector straight into the TV keeping everything nice and tidy and neat. My test TV didn't have a USB connection so I didn't use this but it looks like a very elegant way of powering the antenna.